On the heels of that report, we do want to share with you what is just some stunning and disturbing video from Ukraine's second largest city. What an explosion there. Uh, missile strikes during the Russian invasion continue. The president in Ukraine accusing the Russians of using terror tactics. Yeah, well, Liza Dimchenko is a student in Kharkiv, a city that has become a key battleground city, and she's actually joining us right now. Thank you so much for coming on our show this morning, Liza. Uh, first of all, are you in a safe place? Uh, can you repeat, please? Uh, first of all, I was asking if you're okay and if you're in a safe place right now. Where are you hunkered down? Uh, yes, I'm in a safe place now. Um, right now I'm at home because uh, the subway is closed because there are too much people inside and uh, we don't have ability to go there. Are you in a place where you are hearing explosions near to you? Yes. Uh, now I'm on the district where... Um, uh, where I can see, I, I can hear all, where I can not just hear, I even can see all uh, how a Russian military bombed us, and that's awful. Uh, for example, um, in uh, four kilometers near my house, uh, Two hours ago, Russian military dropped a bomb from fighter at a at, at a factory. They they also hit a residential building with shells. Uh, and also, one hour ago, Russian military bombed Kharkiv Hospital. Some people have decided to leave uh, their their city to leave to get to a safer place. You decided to stay. Can you tell us why you're staying? Um, I can uh, explain. Um, it's almost unreal to leave uh, uh, my region because um, when people from my region try to uh, leave this one, uh, a Russian military kill uh, the whole uh, they kill the whole family who tried to leave this one, and it's unsafe to this one. So sorry to hear that, Liza. I'm just curious. Do you have family with you? Are you with friends? I, I mean, we're looking at you. You're by yourself. But are there other people with you? Uh, now I'm just with my family. With whom my family? How are you guys surviving right now? Because you can't really go outside to go to the grocery store. I mean, how are you surviving right now? And did you lose power at all? Um, we have the special time when we can go to the supermarkets. Um, personally, I don't go, I didn't, I haven't go out more than three days. My mom and my dad, uh, go to the supermarkets once, uh, one time at th two days. It's unsafe because p Russian military kill people um, on the street when they go to the supermarkets. Uh, that's really unsafe, but we don't have any other choices. None of us here could imagine what you're going through. Uh, the, nothing like this has ever happened here in the United States. Uh, Liza, I just can't thank you enough. You're so brave to join us. And, and uh, you know, our hearts uh, go to you and your family, and we want you to be safe. And thank you so much for speaking with us this morning. Thank you, too. Be safe, okay. Liza Dimchenko, of course, a student there in Kharkiv, one of the cities that is in the middle of this battleground. 16 years old. Just hard to imagine what it's like going through what she was going through. All right.